Hello guys, The Nest, episode three. We missed it as it went out that night because we're so, so busy, but here is our review and reaction to episode three. What's keeping you engaged? I think it's got a good plot. I love a thriller mm -hmm. and I'm twisting and turning because I love to try and work it out. And I've got lots of theories. So I love a thriller when, I've got, when I'm going theory crazy. Right. Um, do you want to hear my theories so far? Yeah, why not? I've been writing on quite a few things, haven't mm. I? Have you? Because the boy next door in the flats... This guy's died. At the time when she got really drunk, I said she's going to lose that baby and she's going to get pregnant with the guy next door. Oh, I see. What you're saying is you think she lost it the night she got really drunk and then tried to make amends by having sex. She had sex with him. Oh, shit. But the other theory that I have is Crikey. not that she... A, I, I'm, I'm pretty damn sure that her mother killed the pregnant woman with the baby. I don't think she killed anyone, this kid. No, I don't I, either. I really don't. I don't either. But I think the... Um, sorry, what's his name? Martin Compson, Martin who plays Compson Dan. plays Dan from Line of Duty. I think he killed the neighbour. Yeah. And I think he's all set up to um, frame her with his murder. Right. But because she's always been told that she killed this, the pregnant woman, and obviously yeah. it was in blackout. That's why, do you remember, she had all that fear when he died because she didn't yes. know whether she'd killed him or not. Yes. So she'd be really susceptible and malleable to be told that actually she did kill this man in yes. another blind rage. Yes. Youngest girl ever to be charged with a double murder. And do you think her social worker is aware of that? Because he's very much, he's sort of very, I don't quite understand the social worker's fury. On her behalf. I Because I think that he really... At the beginning, we thought there was something dodgy, something Well, sexy, you thought there was something between but them. But I don't yeah. think there is now. No, I think that they just... I don't think that it's that they don't believe that she killed this person. But I think they've seen all the goodness in her and they know that she's been through horrors. And I think there's going to be something so dark about her mother. Well, her mother's amazing. I can't even find the mother's actor's name in the cast, the cast listing online is diabolical, but she's a very famous actress, and isn't she? she's brilliant. She was in but, Happy but Valley, yeah. See, the other thing that, that I love about this is I'm fascinated by the good and the bad in all of us and mm. what tips us over to being, mm. you know, there but for the grace of God go I. Any one of us, I think, could end up murdering or doing anything. We just don't know. I think it's doing quite a subtle job of, of giving us red herrings. So, you know, like, for example, that whole scene where she, she pulled the bread knife, the, you know, the girl in, in the kitchen. You know, you're seeing eruptions of anger and fury. You're seeing hedonistic behaviour. They're giving us enough suggestions that she could possibly have done the murder. But I loved that. That because yeah. again it shows us so she's a child that's been brought up in care yeah can you imagine the things she will have had to have to had to face we know a lot about what goes on in care mm. so this will have been her thing i'm the crazy i'm the batshit mm. crazy one don't come near me i could kill you mm. she'll have used that as a protection mm. or so i love that red herring because it gave me more depth to yeah the she's character. absolute miramak is who plays kaya the girl she's an absolute Star. Star, isn't she? I mean, she I think we're looking at a new Jodie Comer here. Wizard. I mean, she's so brooding. I mean, she does new as much, Saoirse. if not more, when she's quiet. And, and she's amazing. just, yeah, she's just, she's so brooding and she's layered and she's got depth. And I haven't and seen her in sex we, education. And this week we saw her as an absolute beauty. Oh, she yeah. has incredible bone structure. She had all mm. her hair up, didn't she? So you can see her on that big screen, a movie star. Mm. She could be in period dramas. She's really, I mean, casting directors will be banging her door down. So we think, we think the husband, Dan, has dealt with the neighbour because yeah. the neighbour was, well, I, I think... Well, I thought that, that I, ages before it came no, no, to No, 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 I know you thought, I know you thought that, but I felt they were kind of listening that suggestion yesterday. I think Isn't he, what? I think he, no, I think, no, I think they're trying to make us think he did it, but I think he genuinely just bought him off. Genuinely. And I think the social worker killed the guy next door. Because I think the social worker is so... There's a really odd element to the social there's worker. He's too angry. Yeah, there's something going on. The social worker's too wife... Angry. No, he might be more invested because his wife is an addict. Mm. And so maybe he's just... A lot of the anger is actually because of the anger of his own situation. He's bringing up his own child on his own because mm. his wife's using. And 
So it could be, he could be a major red herring, mm. major, mm. in that actually he just cares very deeply about this girl. Or he could be a half-crazed sex maniac running a sex ring. That's what I love about a good thriller. Just say all those words a bit louder so everyone in the neighbourhood can hear us. I thought Martin, <laughs> I thought Martin Comston, who's been in, in, the, in the line of duty, I thought he played, I, I haven't been entirely convinced by his performance up until this episode. And I thought he played those tender scenes, the emotional scenes, in a very real mm. male way. Mm. You know, he was broken. Yeah, 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 no, and you, you spied that. And I thought, Mark said at one point, what's he crying for? I went, he's in the most unimaginably yeah. difficult position. Yeah, but only because I've bought into the fact that he's a psychotic yeah, Glaswegian murderer. He loves his wife. He loves yeah, his he wife. does. I mean, and I must he admit, wants I was, a baby. Yeah, he does want a baby. And it's their last sperm and egg. I know, they make it sound like something you buy at the shop. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's just, it's just, uh, I would love to have read this. I wish I'd got a chance well, to read this. This is sort of thriller I love. I read. thought the last scene, so obviously by the end of this episode, uh, Kaya, the young girl, ends up in hospital. Um, and is she in hospital? Yeah, she is in hospital, isn't she? And then she's having the mm. cesarean section, which I thought was quite a dramatic <gasps> scene. That, wasn't oh my it? God, I'd forgotten about yeah, that. Yeah, that yeah. was brilliant. Which was really dramatic. I thought it was very well done. And then I really felt for both Dan and his wife when they came to the hospital and you realised the legal limits of the surrogacy, that it was still yeah. her baby. Yeah, yeah. And they that had really no rights. And so you felt, I thought it was a very clever way of making them feel castrated and sort of almost like the umbilical cord has literally been cut. And they had no remit there, did they? I thought it was a brilliant episode for him because it was, so, and for the writing of his mm. very, his very complex character. Mm. There's a moment in the changing room when the guy says to him, are you so-and-so's son? And oh, he yeah. says no, and he goes, oh, well, you... Yeah, the spit of him and that shame. I think he's so madly in love with Emily because Emily is pure goodness. And I think the actress does very well the way she plays that Sophie Rundle because sometimes to play a pure goodness character is a bit... And you can end up being turned away from the character. Well, I was being turned away from but, her. But, but he needs her so much because I think... Imagine being born to a crook. Mm. Born to a bad father mm. who is very controlling of you and you're expected to follow the family trade. Mm. But deep down, you're quite a good person. And I think that's what he is. I think his soul, the baby boy, he was a good person. So to, he's been able to give her everything that he wants, that she wants, you know, the beautiful home. Mm. The, she's his, like, precious jewel. And so this, so this, so this need, you know, to, to give her this last thing, but also the absolute horror of the position that they're then going to put him, mm. themselves in because he knows what evil can do because he also has this evil side to his mm, character. Yeah, absolutely. Love it. Well, I thought, I mean, I think Sophie Rundle, who plays Emily, she was, Emily's character has really <coughs> irritated me from the get-go because she's so sort of twee and good and sort of simple in her desires. I thought she was going to tip towards insanity and that slight mania that comes with an absolute pathological mm. desire, maternal instinct that can't be delivered. And then I thought there was a really curious scene in this episode where the girl, Kaya, talked about having sex and it was unusually graphic wasn't yes. it the way she described it yes um and and i thought the way sophie what's her name sophie rundle, the, rundle the, yeah, yeah the way she, she reacted to that was very real because she is in a bit more of a because sort she's of, gonna accept anything yes. because she wants this it was so baby explicit compared she to what she loves she, her nephew she should yes. have been outraged for her nephew you're mm. having sex with the, my the pregnant but she's going to contain everything what do you think of the nephew until she's got that baby it's a very interesting character. He's not. The, he's the one with the flat top, isn't he's he? He's really, he's really. He's a curious character, isn't he? Because he's he, both sweet and lovely. But... Love it. Brilliant writing because yeah. he's so unpredictable. Yeah. Uh, everything he does, I'm so shocked he's done it. <coughs> and I thought the woman who plays his sister, uh, Dan's sister, Hilary, uh, that one there, mm. um, Fiona Bell, I think she's very good too. Very, very good. She's very good. It's a very strong cast. It's very yeah. neat. Nice. And the title, The Nest, I think the title, the Nest, I heard someone, I think, on Gogglebox saying they should have called it The Triangle, which would be very unimaginative. I do like this idea of cr they're creating their own nest. I mean, I found the original concept of the girl moving in with them and living with them utterly unbelievable oh no I but now i've bought into she it nowhere to live. well she a she had nowhere <coughs> to live but b they're wanting to parent her so they're parenting her parent and she's sort of gestating their baby it's crazy yeah, it's, a, it's like a it's real so layered mm. i just absolutely love it just look at james hartness here who plays a social worker and um he was in a thriller series called the victim mm -hmm. 
Comment below if you've watched that because I might love that. It was also in Rogue One. Maybe that's something that we can watch and review. Let us know in the comments below if you've seen him in The Victim and whether oh, it's a I know. James... suspected child killer. No, sorry. Yeah, that. James Harkness is mates with our mate Jake. In fact, he was in Rogue One and he very excitedly said um, they they took him in for photographs to get an action figure of him. It's kind of like he felt he'd arrived because oh, oh. they wanted to make an action figure out of him. It's brilliantly played by everyone. I think everyone. That, I think personally Brilliant. personally I think James Harkness, his character, the social worker, I think that's where all the dubiousness lies. I don't think he's everything. That's what we thought right way. at the beginning. Do you remember when, when right at the down. beginning when she's going for him with the knife when mm. they have the car crash and we're like, oh God, he's obviously yeah. her pimp, he's and, obviously. And I think the mum, who's kind of like the character from Hansel and Gretel in her cottage in the in the Highlands, brilliant scene of just weirdness. And did you notice who that person was that arrived at the, off the ferry? It was the journalist. Yeah. Oh yeah, got the journalist. Yeah, we've got the journalist. Because I was a bit unsure. I thought, I've seen her before. Who yeah. is she? And she's the journalist. Yeah, so it's doing a good job of leaving all those oh, threads and all those fuses just bubbling down. Anyway, guys, tell us what you think. Are you enjoying yeah. it? Do you love it? And let me know about the victim because I'd like to check that out. Yeah.